All right, guys, in this vehicle-specific video, we're going to be doing a 2007 Acura TL. We'll be doing all side windows and the rear window. Let's jump right into the outside prep, and then we'll go over the inside prep and the door panel removal. All right, before we do the inside prep, let's take the panels off. That way, when we clean, we clean below that gasket. To take the panel off, you have to, well, to take the gasket out, you take, have to take the entire door panel off. And there's a Phillips head down here. In this hole here, it's a little hidden, but there's a Phillips head in there. And there is also a Phillips head behind the cover on the door handle. So we'll take the hook tool, there's a little tab, we'll grab that and pull it out. There's actually two Phillips heads in there. So we'll remove those. And then we'll get the one down below. You may need an extension on the uh, drill if you're using the drill. So if you are using a drill, you're definitely going to want an extension because it goes pretty far in there. It's hard to grab onto. Let me make sure there's even a screw in there because on these older vehicles, sometimes when they get work done on them, the screws are missing, but it is there. So it's very tricky to actually catch the screw head within that hole. You just got to give it a couple tries. If you do use a screwdriver, it'll be easier to get onto the actual head of the screw because this does have some wiggle in it. So when you go in there, you don't know if it's getting going sideways. So just pay attention to that when you're trying to take that screw out. That it is tricky to catch the head. So now once we have these two screws out behind the handle and the one below, we have this one right here. Usually there's a rubber grommet around this, but it must have been knocked off since this is an older vehicle. It's going to back that out. And sometimes this is an issue where on the Acura TL, the actual thread gets stripped in there. And that's probably why this is like this right now. So we're not going to be able to back this out, but we'll be able to work around it. So we have this, the main screws released. This portion of the door panel is going to stay. And this is good that you guys get to see this because this is very common to happen. We're going to pull on the bottom of the door panel, pull up, and then we're going to lift the panel up releasing the top. And then now you can see that the door panel goes and it hangs into this groove right here. So you can see the tongue, you can see this part goes into this channel, which is the gasket itself. And it's okay that that one screw is still stuck in there. We can just release the clips up here and we have plenty of wiggle room to get the panel back onto the gasket so that just holds it in place so once you have that hanging off you can take the gasket out careful not to bend it now let's move on to the back door so the same thing here there's a screw all the way down here we have this with the rubber grommet on it um, we're going to leave that on just so in case that that thread does strip on us we're not the ones that do it since we can take the panel off without removing that screw so we're going to take the plastic cover off behind the handle, remove those two Phillips screws, and then get the one Phillips screw that's under the window switch. That screw is the same situation. It's tricky to get. You just got to feel around for it. Once you grab it, back it out, and then we can pop the panel from grabbing the front corner. Work your way around the top. Releasing it from the top of the gasket by lifting up. Sometimes the gasket will come with it. You'll want to separate those. And then you'll see you have the gasket released. It came off with the panel, but we removed it from the door panel and took it out of the car. And when we put it back in, we'll have enough wiggle room with this screw even put in place to pop the panel back on top of the gasket. So we'll just let that hang there and we'll go ahead with the inside prep. And when you clean these quarter glass windows, you wanna make sure that you get really far into this gasket because we're gonna put the tint all the way to the edge past this gasket that's hitting the window. So the whole key here is to clean it out and also loosen up the gasket at the same time by shoving the towel with the, with the um, white stick. So take the gasket jamming stick, wrap it in a towel, run it up and down the sides across the bottom just to clear, clear all the debris. 
And then we'll go ahead after running the towel, spray soapy water in there to lubricate it. All right, now we're ready to lay out the bulk material on the outside of the windows and hand cut the film. All right, so on this vehicle, we're gonna be doing Suntec Standard Pro 20%. You can see I have a 40 inch roll because I don't have a 20 inch on hand. I'm gonna roll it out on the front and the rear door and use the other sides of the material or the excess material for the other side. So let's go ahead and lay out the bulk material and then we'll follow up with cutting. So I'm gonna start by cutting off the excess material, rolling that up and saving that for the other side. Now the first thing I'm gonna do here is, you can see the edge of this material is a little bit crinkled up. So I'm gonna recut this bottom edge to get rid of those creases on the edge. It must have been uh, the roll was almost dropped when I was handling it at one point. So we'll mount that in place, cut the bottom edge, but if you have a perfectly straight edge, you can line up the bottom edge first. So we're gonna cut that bottom edge. And then cut the front edge. So if you had the bottom edge straight already, you just line it up to the bottom, mount it in place, cut the front edge. We'll release that squeegee mark, shift it forward about a quarter of an inch. Once you shift it forward, make sure your bottom edge is still lined up. Mount it in place and cut the rear. After we cut the rear, we can roll it down and cut the top edge, making sure the top edge isn't stuck to the trim. Mount that top edge in place, and we'll cut the top and then clean up the edges. So we'll continue this back edge with the gold card and the razor. Continue the front edge. Round out the corners. It's the bottom corner. And then the last one will be the front top corner. Do a continuation of the top, round it out into the side, and we can mount it on the outside of the window to be applied. So we'll do our spray squeegee spray. Now the five and a half inch barely fits in here, so I'm gonna use the three and a half to squeegee this window out. And then we'll grab the film from the outside. Just like any other bottom loading technique or car that you would bottom load on, front corner in first, get that front top edge in, and then focus on the bottom rear, sliding that down, and then the rear top. Lining up the top edge. Once we get that top edge lined up, we squeeze it into place, making sure there's no overlap. And to mount this in place, I'm gonna use the five and a half inch. But when cleaning, you wanna be more precise. That's why I used the three and a half inch. So I didn't miss any spots with water residue. Down the sides. And then we'll push the top out with the gray lid coat card and the heat gun with the towel wrapped around it. Push into the side since they're nice and open. We'll do a quick check from the outside. Make sure that top edge is mounted all the way across.
The most important parts are the corners. Obviously the center is too, but you wanna make sure that corner is laid down really nice. So when it rubs, when you roll it up, it doesn't peel. Once the top edge is good, we can roll it up, spray the bottom edge, squeegee it out straight down. That's with a couple fingers that we're gonna have to shrink. Do a final check of the sides with the easy reach. This window's good, we can move on to the next one. All right, now with the back door, we're gonna do the same thing. The bottom edge is a little bit messed up. So we're gonna recut that. Make a new straight edge. To do that, we'll mount it in place. Cut from the corner to the corner. Cut the back edge first. We'll release the squeegee mount so that we can shift it rear towards the rear, about a quarter of an inch. Reline up the bottom, mount it in place, cut the front edge. And then cut the top edge. Mount it in place across the top. Then we can cut the top edge. Once we have the top edge cut, of course we're gonna clean up the edges, just like any other rear door. Round out the corners. Round out the bottom corners. And then we'll mount it on the outside. Forgot the one last corner. Then we can mount it on the outside, do the spray squeegee spray on the inside and apply it. The main thing that's gonna be beneficial in this video is this quarter glass window because it is very different than any other car. But let's get to applying this back window on first. We'll do our spray squeegee spray. Drop the front corner in first. Lay the top corner in. Get that back edge in. Move the film down and slide it into place. Once you have it lined up, of course you're gonna squeegee it out. Paying attention to the movements as you squeegee because the film will always move as you squeegee it. Once we have the window rolled up, of course we're gonna squeegee across the bottom, pushing down, just like any other vehicle. This car is very straightforward. The only thing that's really different is removing the door panel. Every car is different in that sense. Go down the side with the easy reach, and then we'll push out the bottom with the Grey Lake Go Card and the heat gun. Let's get onto the quarter glass window. For this quarter glass, I'm using the excess material left from cutting out the back window. Let's take this, lay it out, cut what we need. We'll lay the other half on the roof for the other side. Now, typically I would take the straight edge and line it up to the bottom, but there is marks in it from the plotter. 
so we have to cut those off. So I'm just gonna cut every single edge on this exactly in place as is. So we'll cut the bottom edge first. We'll cut the front edge. When you cut these out, you wanna make sure your blade is on a 45 degree angle and then you push it into the tent. You don't wanna go into it with the blade out already because you'll get a crooked cut. So you push the blade in there, 45 degree angle. This would be 90, that would be 90 pretty much. 45. The reason you do a 45 is so that you don't cut the gasket. And then we'll pull this off. If it's on there flat, you'll take a gold card and just pick it up from the bottom. If you try to slide it like this, you'll end up creasing it. So once you pull it off, we'll round out the edges. You can see this radius here. We're gonna try to match that just by a visual. close and then we'll clean up the bottom edge that we cut create a little round radius and the same thing with the back bottom edge so once we have that we can mount it to this door to use as a peel board and then we'll spray squeegee spray this window which you can see from the outside using the three and a half inch yellow turbo, wiping the blade after each stroke, wiping off any contamination that you collected. And then we'll go into the side with the easy reach and make sure it's nicely lubricated between that gasket and the glass. Then we'll rinse this out, peel the film, pick the liner, Go ahead and grab that and let's put this inside. So when you put it in, you wanna make sure that you try to hit as little as possible. I'm gonna get this in here, down into the bottom gasket. If you pull in the bottom gasket away so we can get down in that bottom first so I can move the top down. Then I'll pull on the gasket on the surrounding to make sure that the material slides in there. And we sprayed enough soapy water so that it's nice and slippery. I'm gonna move it up to the top, making sure we pull that gasket away to slide it into place. And if you have a little bunch up on the front, you could take the easy reach and stick it between the gasket and the glass and just run it down. That'll pull the gasket away so that the film can fall right into place. Same thing on the top. Make sure there's no light gap. We look good. Now to squeegee this out, obviously you'd spray a little soapy water on it. We'll use a three and a half inch and we'll go around the perimeter of where the gasket is to squeegee out this area first, mounting it in place. And then we'll go with the easy reach around the edges. So you can see, I'll take the easy reach. I'm gonna use this portion of it and I'm gonna go into the gasket like so and push down. Wrapping away around to the bottom and then we'll do the opposite, pushing up to the top. Push out the bottom. Check for any little pieces of rubber that may have cut off with the razor blade. You'll get little tiny slivers. That is okay and completely normal. As long as you don't put a huge gouge in the gasket, little tiny sliver is normal. And then we'll use heat on the outside of this. And you can see right here is a little bubble. That's just from cutting it. What I would recommend is either heating it a little bit, definitely heat it a little bit, but after you heat it, let it sit. And when it sits, the water evaporates between the film and the glass so that when you're done with all the other windows, you can come back and simply just push it out very easily. So you can see this won't lay down, but we'll do the back window first, and then I'll come back and show you how quickly that lays down. So I'll just apply some heat so it can be nice and warm. And then let's hop onto the back window. All right, just like every other vehicle specific video, I always pre-cut the back windows because I don't like to cut on the glass, but if you are gonna cut on the glass, make sure you lay out a quarter inch vinyl tape 
perimeter that you can cut on instead of cutting directly on the glass. But this back, back window is very simple to cut out. It has a dot matrix edge. The brake light comes out, so you don't have to cut out around that. Just cut around the top and we'll lay it right over the brake light. Unless the customer did want that cut out, then we would cut it out. But they don't, so we're gonna go right over it and we'll go ahead and shrink this and we'll go and apply it Frankenstein method. So we'll mount out the H pattern. And shrink away. Nothing crazy about this, nothing special. Very standard back window. Now after we have this all shrunk, we're gonna squeegee around the perimeter. Since we are doing the Frankenstein method off of the rear window, we'll squeegee that out. So we don't get any contamination dripping into the film when we peel the liner. We can hop into the back seat and do the back window prep. All right, so the first step to the inside of the rear window is take the headrest out, make it a lot easier. Just push the buttons on the side, wiggle it out. These are a little stiff because it's older. And then this cover to the brake light pops right off. And we don't have to take the actual brake light off because all the glass is exposed now. We're gonna spray this up with soapy water. Scrub it up as we would with any other window, rear window. And we'll do our spray squeegee spray. We'll spray it up again and grab the back window off of the back window and come and apply it. So this back window, you have a fairly wide open area to work with. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just line up that bottom edge, push it down, lifting up the top at the same time. Gradually as you go, line up that bottom edge, get the sides in. Once you make sure there's no light gaps and it's positioned properly, you can go ahead and squeegee this out. Squeeze it out just like any other rear window. We're gonna start five inches from the top, going sideways from the center. And the opposite direction. Into the top, across the top. And then across the bottom with the side swiper. Make sure you spray up soapy water so the squeegee is lubricated. Give it a final check with the bulldozer. Make sure that bottom edge is pushed out nicely. All right, so we got cut off there. The camera shut off by itself after a long time. So what I did after that last section that got cut off is I just put the rear headrest back in, put the brake light cover back on, and now I'm wiping off the outside of the window to check for any imperfections. So you guys didn't miss anything special. Just wipe the dryer sheet off. Look for any bubbles that are popping up. Everything looks good. We are good to go. This back window is good. So let's get back to the door panel reinstallation and this car is done. So we have the gasket. These are plastic felt. They're not felt lined. So you typically want to wipe these off before you reinstall them to make sure there's no grainy dirt on them. Put it back on the channel. Make sure it's sitting on there snugly. And we'll lift the panel up. And the whole key here is to wrap the panel back on top of that gasket. Push it down into it. Make sure the clips are clipped in. And then we'll follow through with putting the two screws back, the one screw from underneath here, and then putting the cover back under the handle. Two screws behind the handle. And then the one screw under the window switch. Get it on the, the, the bit head. Get it into place. And there you go. 
Last thing we gotta do is just put this cover on. You can see there's a little tab on the front of this. You can see it's sticking out a little bit there. You wanna get that in first and then click it into place. So the front edge in first, and then click it into place. You're good. Move on to the back door. So the back door, same exact thing. Slide the gasket on. Make sure we wipe it off. On, roll the panel on top of it. Push it down into there. Make sure the clips are clipped into place. And the same exact three screws. And then we'll get the one in the bottom. And the same thing with this front cover, make sure you get the front edge in first, pop it into place, it's good to go. And that is how you tint a 2007 Acura TL, all the side windows and the rear window. And remember after heating up that quarter glass window to work out any imperfections that there might be, letting it sit for a while. I'll see you guys in the next video.